This is why I wasn't able to upload videos for the last few days. This is the installation video of my mass cool CPU cooler, as you can see right there. Um, my it's for my computer. Uh, the water cooler went out in it, which was a Thermal Take Water 2.0, and it uh, yeah, I yanked it out and pulled my processor. Luckily, it didn't do any damage to it. Of course, I had it set up to like shut down after a certain temperature, but um. Oh, this is uh, part one of the install video. I used my phone to record this, so pardon the shitty quality. Uh, that's the inside of my computer. That's the uh, Socket 2011 uh, the ASRock Fatality X79 Professional Motherboard. 32 gigs of G-Skill Rip Jaws Z series or X series. I, I can't remember. DDR3-2133 memory. Um, that's my Radeon HD 6850. I had to screw a couple of 80 millimeter fans to the front of it because they, both the fans on the car died. They're like magnetic maglev fans, kind of. Uh, I also replaced the thermal compound and actually get, it cools very well. Um, hell, a lot better than what the stock fans did, so doing a lot better with that. Now, I was having problems with games locking up and everything. It sucked. But, uh, yeah, less than two years, and, uh, my Thermal Take Water 2.0 Pro, the one with the dual fans, the dual 120mm fans, died. The pump died. So don't buy Thermal Take Water cooling products. Here, I'm, like, just prepping. I'm using the box that the, that the cooler came in, and I'm gonna set my processor on it. Um... I kept the fans to the uh, radiator, of course, because it came with two 120mm fans from Thermal Take. Here's my processor, an Intel Core i7-3930K. Still has the old Arctic Silver on it, and no pins on these processors, folks. Just contactors, the gold contacts. Um, the pins are in the socket on the motherboard. Uh, this is going to be the end of part one. Um, what I do is I clean the processor off and I come back in part two with the processor clean. So hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for part two of my cooling fan install video. Thanks.